A recent Benilde St. Margaret High School grad is on a mission to change the future for black youth. Later this week, she will debut a new documentary shedding light on the school to prison pipeline. It featured the well known case of Mayan Burrell. Pauline Lee shares the message that this team hopes to spread and the change they hope to make. We want things to change for black students because we care so much. Imani Laban and Taylor Alexandria are out to set the narrative straight. In general, black kids just, they don't get listened to. They don't get to, you know, say their feelings. It's just, you were a bad kid, you got suspended, or here's the police officer, you know, like, it's just cut off right away. The reality that Imani says she experienced growing up. Just the adultifying in the classroom, I've been picked on, I've been criminalized specifically. It's a reality that she says sends too many black youth down the path to a bleak future. Statistics show that black students are criminalized more and that gateway can lead especially black students in poverty into prison. So nearly a year ago, she set out to change that future by creating a new documentary called Thugs, Criminalization of Black Youth. And we want to take that title, that's why we titled it our film, and debunk it and say this is not how black youth are. A lot of kids are increasingly being charged as adults. Already as a child, they have a target on their back. With Taylor's help, the two set out to listen. We tried to get a variety of different races, of different ages, of different backgrounds. Hearing different perspectives from activists, lawyers, educators, listening to those who've been in the pipeline. When I was coming up, it wasn't abnormal for police officers to just roll up and rough you up for no reason. That was my first interaction with police officers, was them, them coming up and victimizing me as a youth. Every day is a blessing. At just 16 years old, Mayan Burrell was convicted in 2003 and again in 2008 for the murder of 11-year-old Taisha Edwards. He was sentenced to life in prison. Through it all, he always maintained his innocence. Every day I woke up and I asked myself, how was I in prison for a crime that I didn't commit? He spent 18 years behind bars. Then in 2020, his sentence was commuted and he walked free following several reports that raised questions about how investigators handled his case. He says he hopes by sharing his story in this documentary, it'll help close the pipeline. So taking my story and taking what I went through and showing my people that, no, I'm you, you're me, I'm your child, the same thing that happened to me is going to happen to your child if we, don't, if we don't stop it right now. Black youth, are, we are innocent, we are children. We love, we care, we deserve to be loved as much as a white peer does. Starting an important conversation for change, that is long overdue and far from over. This is a marathon, and right now what we're doing is just a sprint. So this will take a while, but I think we're stepping in the right direction. Pauline Lee, WCCO 4 News. The documentary premieres at the Capri Theater in North Minneapolis coming up later this week on Friday night. Tickets are free, but you do need to register. You can find all the information on showtimes and how to register for free. Just go to WCCO.com.